Here I want to show you how you can edit, copy, move text. First of all, you can see I've got a new presentation. And over here in the thumbnail preview, I've got a total of four slides. Now the first slide is highlighted. That means that's the active slide. And it displays over here in the main view or the working area. So I can work on that slide. And if I want to work on other slides, just go ahead and come over here in the thumbnail preview. And before you click on it, when I hover over it, it gives me a pop-up below my pointer. And that pop-up says on our website. That's the title of the slide because I can't read the title. It's too tiny in this thumbnail preview. So that's good to know before I click on it to go, oh, that's not what I want. What's the next one about? Oh, that's unique. Well, go ahead and click on it. And there it is, the title, unique. Great. And then I went to the right slide. Or you can go ahead and increase the viewing of these thumbnails by hovering over the split bar in between the thumbnail preview and the main working area until you can see arrows pointing in opposite directions. Then just click and drag to the right until you get the size that you'd like to see them. Click and drag that split bar back, and I'll just stay there. Let's go back to slide one. Here I want to show you how you can edit text within the text boxes. And so you can see when I'm in a blank area, I get the pointer. When I get close to a box that contains text, and I get to the edge of it, that pointer also adds a four-way arrow to it. So without having to click inside of it, I can just hover over it and just click when I got the four-way arrow and I can drag and move that wherever I want in any four directions, as it indicates with the four-way arrow. And as you recall in the previous training video, when you get close to another object, in this case another text box, and you see those orange dashed lines, it means that it's in alignment with it. And in this example, the vertical orange dashed line is in perfect alignment, that text box, with the Dreamforce text box down below. So let go, and great. Let me click off. So you've got the pointer, when you get to the edge of a text box, you got the four-way arrow. When you get right over the text, you get an I-beam, or an uppercase I, that when you click, activates the box, and it puts a cursor within the box, so you can just start typing text. If you made a mistake, and you want to delete what's behind the flashing cursor, hit the backspace key, and to delete what's in front of it, hit the delete key. And type in that, and you can also use the arrow keys to navigate around within the text box. Left arrow key, delete key. To delete the lowercase o, let's put an uppercase, and there you go. Let's click off, and we're done with that. Next, I want to show you how you can copy and paste text within your slides here. To do that, let's go to slide two, and let's copy the bullet point sample previews of training videos. And to copy that, to paste it maybe within the same slide or on another slide for that matter, we need to select it first. So let's go ahead and click on it to activate the text box to get the cursor flashing within it. And to select it, one way is to start at one end or the other with your I-beam and click and drag to the other end so you got it selected. You can do it that way or, let me click off, if it's just a word that you want to select, double click really fast. If you want to select the entire paragraph, which is this bullet point, just triple click really fast. And those are some tips, tricks, and shortcuts. I got a whole lot more in my Word training video on navigating and selecting your text, but there's some to get you started. So once you have it selected, you can either come up here on the Home tab and go to the Clipboard group and click on the Copy button. You can see when I hover over it, the pop-up says it's Copy, and it gives you the shortcut keys in case if you don't want to click on it, but I'll click on it. And you can also do Control-C, and that copies it. And then once you've done that, it's copied. All you have to do now is go ahead and paste it, but there's another way. You can come down here with it selected, and if you hold your mouse really still and right-click, you get the shortcut menu to copy. But if you don't hold it still and you right-click and move it at the same time, well, congratulations. You just learned a new feature here that when you right-click and you drag and then let go, wherever you let it go, it gives you another shortcut menu that says, you see that line right there, the cursor? It says you can move what you have selected here by selecting move here, there. Or you can take a copy of that and copy it to there. And well, if we copy here, what a mess. Let's go ahead and thank goodness for the undo button. Hit undo. We're back to where we were. And so, like I said, let's go ahead and to copy it, select it first, and then right click, hold the mouse still, then left click, and you can paste it. And you can paste it within the same area here. Well, let's not do it right after. We can hit enter. And then to paste it, well, I'm not going to paste it here. Let me hit the backspace key a couple of times. Let's go to another slide. Let's go to slide 4 and paste it here. Let me go ahead and click to activate that text box at the end of our website here. Let me place the cursor there. 
hit enter and notice that it automatically converts it well that URL to a hyperlink that when you hover over it you can see in the pop-up it says hey you want to go to this website hold down the control key and you get the finger yeah you can go ahead and now with the control key held down click on it to go to my website but you don't have to do that when you're giving the presentation just in the design view when you give the presentation just click on it and it'll take you right there so that's what's known as the autocorrect feature that when you type in some text and you hit the spacebar automatically turns on that autocorrect feature and takes a look at what you just typed in front of the space and if there's any misspellings that it can figure out it'll automatically correct it or in this case any website addresses convert it into a hyperlink and so you can learn more about the autocorrect feature in my word training video on that and so let's go ahead with the cursor flashing here let's paste what we just copied and there's quite a few ways you can go about pasting you can either come up here on the home tab go to the clipboard group and click on paste or as you can see in the pop-up control V and Victor will do it so let's click on it and there you go now after you pasted it you'll get some paste options a little tag that you can click on it and here you go the default paste says to use the destination theme now theme is a combination of colors fonts and effects so if you had some color here to previous text well not this one because that converted it into a hyperlink but you had another color to the text up above it would paste it in that destination's color so that's the default if you didn't like that and you want to keep the source formatting the place where it came from and notice it gives you a preview come back here it's large the source was smaller so if you want to keep that formatting while pasting it and then choose that option if you want it as a picture well you won't be able to make changes to it because pictures are that they're not text and you can't edit a picture into text or you can go ahead and just keep the text only so if I choose picture see that I don't get the I beam I can't click on it to put it in there to edit it because it's a picture I just get a four-way arrow so let's go ahead and hit undo come down below here and let's paste it again it's still there I haven't copied anything else so I can still go ahead and use the paste feature so I can come up here and click on the paste button or click on the drop down arrow you get the same four options or when in doubt you can right click and I tell my students that because when you need something in a hurry and it's a common command when you right click you'll pretty much more often than not at least I found in my experience that you'll find that command in that shortcut menu or this mini formatting toolbar so right down here you get the paste options as well and you can choose from the same four options we'll do destination theme click on it and that tag will be there and will stay there until you either close out or perform another action like hitting the spacebar and then it removes it so that way if you need to change your mind after you pasted it you got that tag there just don't do anything else and then when you do it removes it so we learned how to copy and paste how about cut and paste like if I want to take the URL here and cut that click and drag to select it and you can come up here on the home tab go to the clipboard group and there's the pair of scissors you can see when I hover over it the pop-up says cut and the shortcut keys are control X so we can do that or hold the mouse still and right click and you get the pair of scissors there cut and now you just got to pick a place to paste it right click you're going to get the same four options here for pasting that doesn't change with cutting so we can use the destination theme and there you go you can do it that way or if it's within the same slide you can click and drag to select it and instead of cutting and pasting with the selected click on the selection and then move your mouse around and I've got two things going on you see that little line right here wherever that lines at when I let go that's where it's gonna dump what I have selected into and that little fuzzy box below the pointer that represents the content that I'm pulling with me to wherever this lines at that I can let go and dump it into and oh that's horrifying let's go ahead and get rid of that thank goodness for the undo button so click undo we'll put it back there but instead click and drag select it click on the selection and drag it and we'll put it right for that bullet point and click down on that one hit the backspace key a couple of times to get rid of that bulleted point looks good now what if you have text in a Microsoft Word document that you want to bring over here well we covered that in the previous training video that you can insert text from a Word document as an object in here but you don't have to do it in this one I'll show you another way that you can go about doing this let me come up here and minimize this down to the taskbar because on my desktop I do have that Word document that when I double click to open it there's the three bullet points that I'd like to add 
So to add it, let's go ahead and click and drag and select it. Now I can cut it, I can copy it, or this may get a bit tricksy, but do you think I can click and drag it? Oh man, let me go down to the button, hold the button down, come back up here, uh, let go. Oh, that's fancy. It worked, except <laughs> I've got the bullets, not the squares there, so I don't get the paste options. So maybe that's not the best thing to do. If I go ahead and undo it and go back to my Word document, and let's just come up here and click on the copy button, and then go back and click on the button to restore the window here in PowerPoint and paste it. Let's do a Control V as in Victor to paste it, and then I get my paste options. Oh, that's nice. So it gives me the squares if I go to the destination theme, or if I keep the source formatting, then it converts it to circles. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.